Hello, Hazel. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. I am very happy to be with you here in our final class. Hmm. <laughs> yes, but uh, it has been a very good module. I have learned a lot from you and I hope that you have uh, acquired different learning from me because that was the main purpose of this. So it, it is always such a pleasure to be a teacher for such a very good group of students. So I am very glad for that. Okay, so uh, today it's a day to present a your information to present well, your presentations. So uh, we have a lot of things to do. I am going to get my book because I am going to take notes about uh, comments that I am going to do later when you finish your presentations, right? I am going to do it after everybody presents. So I am not interrupting one by one. So I am going to be taking different notes during the presentations. It is not for you to get scared, like, oh my God, I am going to make a mistake or something. No, it is for us to improve. So that's the idea. We can actually improve ourselves and for sure we can keep on improving together. So please get ready for the presentations. Let me get my pen. Give me one second. I will come back in a second. Okay, I am back. Well, my dear students, I don't know who wants to start. Who wants to be the first one? Or should I choose? Or let's leave it to the, to the best of luck. Let me see. Catherine, give me one number from one to 14. Number two. Number two. Catherine, it's you <laughs> on the list. <laughs> on the list. <laughs> on the list of participants, you are the second. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yay! <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. That was good. It's okay. I mean, you are ready for this. You can do it. <laughs> Go ahead, Catherine. You can start your presentation. That is that is luck. Believe me. Eso es el sortudo. Okay, Catherine, you can start your presentations. I am going to highlight uh, Catherine so everybody can actually see you. And um, then Catherine is going to choose the next person and on and on and on and on. Okay, so let's go. Okay, my presentation is the next one. Okay, her name is Catherine. She has 27 years old. She worked at the hospital. 
he has a daughter. She like go out with her family, visit new place. She loves the China food and the pupusas. She doesn't like chilate in Pacaya. She lives in Samuel. It is a department where the weather is very hot. She does like activities, for example, read, good, study, study English, and sometimes go to the gym. She loves the animals. About the about her the experience honey. and the models was fantastic because learning learn more English, uh, meet new people like the teacher and partner. It's all. Okay, group reactions for Catherine. Very good, excellent. Well, I am going to give a couple of comments at the end of the presentations in general, okay? So uh, we just have to be very careful, Catherine, on the use of he and she, right? If you're talking about you, please don't confuse mm -hmm. the he and she. That's the, the, the first thing, so I don't forget it. Catherine, mm -hmm. who is the next one? Mm -hmm. Names or numbers? No, names. <laughs> okay. We're very lucky with the numbers. <laughs> uh, let me see. Guillermo. Guillermo, go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm talking about myself and the person. Um, his name is Guillermo Martinez. He's uh, a student. He has student. Uh, he study uh, Monday to Thursday. He is 24 years old. He is a supervisor at the airport. Um, he, don't, he doesn't practice any sport now, but he really likes to swim. Um, his hobbies are watching movies, listening to music, and see a lot of uh, animals and um, that's all about it. Okay, so what is your experience on the module, Guillermo? What did you like the most? Oh, uh, experience at the module was uh, practice more the English and learn uh, about different verbs, a lot, a lot of different subjects and how I can create uh, more conversations. And well, uh, when I study in this module, uh, print media number one, I use that for practicing English with uh, the passenger here in the airport, uh, continue to the USA. And it was so great because uh, I didn't know about uh, different birds, like, um, like whole chores and others, but I use that in my, in my word for versus the problems here. Hey, that's very away. good. That's very good. I feel very proud that you actually took the learnings, the learning into practice. So that it's the best thing that you can do. And if you have the opportunity to do it because you are at the airport, take the best advantage of this every day. Thank you very much, Guillermo. Who is the next one? Emilia Ramirez. Emilia, go ahead. Thank you, Guillermo. Okay. Um, she is Emilia Vanessa Ramirez. Her favorite name is Vanessa. She is from Lourdes Colón. She is uh, 30 years old. Uh, her favorite name her favorite music is rock. Her favorite bands are Led Zeppelin and ACDC. She likes to sweet swim. Um, she works during the day and at night. She receives English class from Monday to Thursday. For her, it was difficult to keep out with the class because her document, documentation was not sent on time. 
and he was late with the first classes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for sharing that we had difficulties with the papers and everything, but thank God you could catch up with everything and connect with us later on. Thank you, Emilia, very good job. Who's next? I like that you like uh, <laughs> Marlon Barriato. Marlon, go ahead. Marlon thank, you. thank you very much. Okay. Go, Marlon. My name, his name is Marlon Barrientos. He is 24 years old. He lives in Aguachapan City. He is from El Salvador. Um, he works in Fruit of the Loom. He is an engineer. He likes play video games with his brother. He likes visit his family. He likes go to the gym. His favorite food are pupusas and pizza. And he likes drive to, to his work. And my experience in this model was excellent because I was learning to use the present continuous, uh, demonstrative adjective, possessive adjective, WH question, um, among other only. Thank you very much, Mr. Marlon. Hey, it's very cool that you have improved a lot since your first presentation that I had. I remember your first presentation and this one was a lot more fluent. It was very good, right? I am going to make some comments about some specific things, but they are very few and it was very good. Thank you very much, Mr. Marlon for sharing. And who's next? Okay. Uh... Monica Escobar. Monica, go ahead. Good evening. Hello. She's name is Monica Joana Escobar Salguero. Twenty is the years old. She lives with my parents and my sister. She lives in Arcela Libertad. She works in that textile factory. She study gastronomy on Saturday. She favorite color is aqua. Uh, she, she favorite food is french fries. She hobby is cooking and going to church. The favorite sport is softball. My favorite animal is turtle. Um, she experience in the model has been incredible. She has learned many things with the enthusiasm that the teacher Nati put in the each class the biggest change that she has had told on the model is the remote, the fear of the speaking in front of the class. Thank you very much, right? That is the first thing that we need to do, Monica, to not to think and not to be afraid of speaking because that is going to help you to improve every single day. Practice with your friends, with another classmate on WhatsApp, on the chat. I mean, but the idea is that you continue practicing. And thank you because that's the way you are going to continue improving. Thank you, Monica. Who is next? Kaisel uh, Mariela. Hazel, go ahead. Hi. Hello. Hazel born in San Salvador. Now, her is 35 years old. She was a good student at college. She married to 22 years old and has a son. His son is eight years, years old. And he, and he, sorry, her son is eight years old and, her, and his name is Alejandro. Uh, Hazel is an export agent in Discovery Corp. She lives in Ilopango with his husband and their son. She likes read and listen to music. She wants to be able to speak English 
Then she is studying English online. She enjoyed her English class all day. Thank you very much, Hazel. What a beautiful presentation. You know, the best part of English is when you recognize your mistakes and you correct yourself. Because you say like, hey, 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 this is not correct. And then you went back and say like, no, 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 her song, right? And that is a very good proof that you are learning the language because you recognize your mistake when you were listening to yourself. And you say like, oh, no, 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 this is the correct one. Thank you very much, Hazel, for the presentation. Excellent. Who's next? Mm, Jonathan Gabriel. Jonathan, go ahead. Mr. Jonathan Gabriel. Good evening. Hello. Everybody. He is so uh, he is Jonathan Gabriel Rubio. Uh, he is 20, uh, 20, uh, 28 years old. He has a big family. He lives with wife, son, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, now and nice. He gets up at 5.30 in the morning, takes a bus and gets ready to work, ready to go to the work. He leaves the house at 6.30 a.m. I read a word at 7 a.m. He works in the pharmacy, pharmacos. He is the production manager taking air inventory and servicing customer. He has lunch at 1 p.m. He leaves work at 4 p.m. He arrived home is at 5 p.m. Okay. He wore in the platform. He has English class at eight at night. Family dinner at 9 p.m. He falls asleep at 10 p.m. Jonathan like this, traveling with family. He likes Chinese food. His favorite soccer team are Liverpool, Real Madrid, and CD Agla. Jonathan dislike, dislike this. Uh, she does not like to argue. He does not like to traffic. He does not like to get sick. Jonathan has got interaction in the English class. He has learned new things. Nothing. Thank you very much, Mr. Jonathan for this nice presentation that you did. That was very good. <laughs> very, very nice and interactive. Who is next, Mr. Jonathan? Don't worry. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I help you. <laughs> Uh -huh. The next is uh, Jocelyn Cristina. Jocelyn, go ahead. Hi, everybody. Hello, Jocelyn. And today I'm going to talk to you about Jocelyn. Her name is Jocelyn Cristina. Her last name is Agreda Ayala. She's from Armenia, Sonsonate. She's 27 years old. She has two sisters, two younger sisters, uh, Maria Jose and Glendy. She lives with her par parents, Rodrigo and Cristina. 
Uh, she likes uh, to play soccer, to eat tacos, be, uh, to visit her uncle, uncle in Aguachapan. And she loves to stay in house and house with her family. She dislikes to eat pacayas, uh, to drive a car, to wash her clothes, and other things. Uh, her experience in the module is all okay. She learns a lot with teacher Nati, and all is okay for her. And she wouldn't change anything. Only that, thank you. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. It has been such a pleasure to be your teacher again. You are a very good student, right? Ah, that was very awesome. Thank you very much. Who's next, Jocelyn? Roberto Caldero. Roberto. Hi, everyone. Today I'm talking about Robert. Robert has 32 years old. He is an engineer and repair streets and bridge. He like to play soccer with his friends. He likes to eat pizza in the weekend. He believes in God. He loves the animals. In his spirit time, he has started different topic about his career. Um, let me see. Um, and that's it. <laughs> how was how was your experience in this new module? In this model, I learned different different things, different words. Was wonderful, and the. In, in my, how do you say, compañeros, classmates? My classmates, uh huh. Was a good person. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Roberto. Very nice. Thank you. And okay. who is going to be the next one? The next person is Hazel Mariela. No, Hazel already passed. Oh, sorry. Uh, Me, Roberto. Ah, well. <laughs> okay. okay. Vol volunteer, volunteer. Go ahead. Así salgo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Hello. I talk about Eric. Eric is a young man with many dreams, goals, and illusion. He has two children, Eric Alexander and Emily Adriana. Uh, but but that is really source of inspiration for everything he does. Also, his why is his support. Eric is very fortunate to have a family that taught him moral values that have served him well. He currently works for a textile factory as a purchasing assistant and has been working for his company for 11 years. Um, he is in his fourth year of a uh, Bachelor of Marketing. He likes it Chinese food. Uh, he likes soccer. He, is, he likes almost all kinds of music except reggaeton. <laughs> he likes to <laughs> collaborate with the community very much and that is why he is part of a directive that is working on the drilling of a well to bring drinking water to that community. As for the English model, he said that he has a teacher who has a great uh, vocation for teaching and that is what he liked the most some topics very difficult for him to understand, but in general terms, he learned something new. The biggest difficult was struggling with fatigue. Since apart from work, he has a university study, English study, his volunteer service, and at 
11 p.m. he must go every day to bring a friend to work, which leave him very little time to rest. But Eric is still very happy and his dreams and illusion remain intact. Who has been good to edit? God, God, his, God has been good to Eric and for that he, he is very grateful. Thank wow. you. What a beautiful presentation. Thank you, Eric, for sharing. Uh, far from, from your experience, I mean, a part of your life and, and all the things that you do, my God, the, the project that you are in for the water and, and, and everything for the community. I mean, it's admirable. It's really fantastic to get to know people like you, that you are actually following your dreams. And I know you are going to do great things, Eric. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for sharing. Who's next? Who's next? The next person can see it. I think uh, Eric has difficulties with the connection. But... Tatiana Martinez. Teacher. Tatiana, there you go, there you go. Good evening, everyone. She is Tatiana Martinez. She is 26 years old. She works at Monteco Company as purchasing manager. She likes to listen to K-pop music and watch the dramas. Her favorite color is blue because it is like the color of the sky and the sea. She does not, not like to eat pineapple because it gives her a pro allergy. Some daily activities she does are the following. She works from Monday to Friday and studying is online. She takes the dinner with her family. Her experience in the Model 1 pre-intermedium has been great because she was learning new vocabulary. She was presenting with the opportunity to change from accounting assistant to purchasing manager and this was a very difficult challenge because she had to learn too many things but at the end she got over it thank you for your attention thank you very much tatiana very nice presentation right even when you had a lot of things and it was difficult you overcame all the difficulties and you are here talking in English for me. That was very, very good. Thank you, Tatiana. Very nice job. Who's next? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Maria Amanda. Maria, go ahead. Maria Amanda. Okay. Go good night, everybody. So I'm going to talk about uh, Maria Amanda. Uh, her name is Maria Amanda. She is um, a supervisor audit since 15 years, uh, 15 years. She works from Monday to Friday. She enjoy of nature, like rivers, volcanoes, and lakes. She likes to a little on the beach. Her favorite animal is dolphin. She really loves them. That's the reason because she uh, when uh, traveled a few years ago to uh, Ruatan, Honduras for midland and, and she's come from a big family, seven siblings, three sisters and three brothers. Uh, uh, she really liked or enjoyed this model because she thinks the method of the teacher is very in interesting. 
dynamic. And she seen that uh, that he uh, she is um improve her her languages. You saw you saw. Very good job, right? And you don't think that you have improved it. You have improved your English. I remember mm -hmm. in the first classes, I was like, okay, Amanda, participate. And you were like, hey, just like a couple of things. And now it is very good that after just 16 days, you are here and you are more confident. You are talking. You feel that you are advancing and you are doing it. So continue practicing, Amanda. You see that you are capable of doing that and a lot more. Congratulations, Amanda. Who's next? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for your nice words. Who's the next one? The next, next one, let me see. Mm. Catherine Reyes. Okay, let me see. Go ahead. Catherine, I think Catherine was the uh, first one. Yes. 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 Excuse <laughs> me. Yes. Vanessa Carranza. Vanessa, go ahead. Yeah, Catherine chose herself. Good night, everyone. Hello. Her name is Vanessa. Her age is 28 years old. She likes to sing. She works as a teleoperator. His favorite color is gold. She loves cats. His favorite hobby is sleeping. She hopes in the next mall to learn to improve her English speaking, speaking and pronunciation. To finish her degree in the communication, she hopes to improve the English to take the better job. And about all, she hopes to be very healthy and successful in order to continue to earn the living. Successful, good, successful. That's a pronunciation. Well, Vanessa, do you know what is a very good way to improve pronunciation and speaking? Reading aloud. Reading aloud, it's the best way to do it. Cualquier párrafo que agarre, cualquier párrafo que esté en inglés, léelo en voz alta. Y eso te va a ayudar un montón a ganar fluency y a mejorar tu pronunciación. Porque ahí tienes la oportunidad de escucharte mientras estás hablando. Porque a veces nosotros lo leemos y lo leemos bien chivo. Y decimos, ah, qué bonito leo. But when you read aloud, you actually listen to what you are reading and you improve your fluency. So for you to improve that part. Uh -huh. Listen to music. Yeah, but get the lyrics, get the lyrics of the songs and sing at the same time. Okay, busca la letra y la cantando al mismo tiempo. And you are going to read, read, analyze, pronounce, and get fluent. So practice karaoke. That's a very good way to do it, right? But with the good songs, okay? The reggaeton, mm -mm. in English, good songs only. <laughs> okay. Romantic. Romantic music in English, that's very good. And very nice presentation. Thank you, Vanessa. Who's next? Um, sería, no sé si ya pasó Angélica Lazo. No, but she's going to do it right now. It is very beautiful to see Angélica because we always uh, see the picture. And now and I love to see your faces because I, I can I, actually <laughs> bring you to life. Don't worry. Go ahead, Angélica. Uh, hello. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk about an introvert person. Her name is Angelica Lasso. She is a person who doesn't like to hang out and prefers staying in home, uh, eating snacks and playing video games. She was born a day before Christmas in 1988. She loves gifts, but it's a miracle if she receives one. She usually eats a birthday cake, but nothing special more than that. Anyways, she enjoys it. Uh, she's an illustrator and work 
as a graphic designer in a textile factory. Angelica very likes to watch animated series and listen to music at night. She has a big, lovely and yellow cat named Neku. He means everything to her. Uh, she doesn't like loud noises. Her experience on the English course was funny and enjoy a lot of the topics, but she gets troubles with demonstrative pronouns, but already she knows how to use them. That's all. Thank you very much. We would love to see your beautiful cat. So if you can put it, if you can put it on camera later, that would be fantastic. Yeah. There's no isn't here okay if he if he comes later you put it on camera thank you okay. very much angelica because even when you mentioned that you are an introvert being here in front of the camera speaking in english in front of your friends in front of a, a bunch of strangers who were strangers 16 days ago and now you are friends is <laughs> very admirable so thank you for sharing. Thank you for being here, for your time and your nice words. You are doing a great job improving your, your English. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you, thank teacher. You. That thank was you. awesome. Who's next? Uh, let me see. Mm, Rebecca Pereira. Rebecca, go ahead. Thank you. There you go. It is good to see Rebecca too, because I almost never see her. There you go. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, hello. This is Rebecca Pereira. She's 21 years old. She lives in San Vicente. Uh, she makes cakes with her family. Actually, she studies marketing online. Uh, in her free time, she likes to listen to pop music and watch to see horror and science fiction movies. She doesn't like snakes and she doesn't practice any sport. Uh, this model was the first time that can she stay on English, English Corporativo and she thinks it was good that the classes are we are, were every day. And she had has a, an opportunity to practice her English. She likes to complete every exercise in the class and also in the platform because are very interesting practice and entertainment to make them. That's it. <laughs> very good job, Rebecca. It's so great first to see you. Second, to have you here in camera and to listen to you speaking in English. It has been such a great thing to actually listen to your improvement through the different classes. Welcome to your first module in English Corporativo, and I hope it's going to be the first one of many. And so I am glad that you have enjoyed the experience of learning. Thank you for sharing, Rebecca. Who's next? Angela Xiomara. Angela, go ahead. There you go. There we go with Angela. Okay. I don't know if she had difficulties. But if not, we can go with Francisco and then with Angel. Me? Yes, and then Angela, because I think she's having difficulties. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you about Francisco. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Um, Francisco was born, he was born on August uh, 1980. It's so cute. <laughs> uh, he married with her friend and choose bandmate on 2008. They have three daughters. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a cute thing. Um, their their names and age are Abigail thirteen, Beatriz eleven. Yes. Uh, Noemi nine. They. <laughs> How do you say, teacher, on a pause at once? <laughs> Stop. Stop, ahorita. <laughs> no me acuerdo cómo se dice once, pero. Eleven, eleven. Oh. Okay, Beatriz, eleven, <laughs> Noemi, nine. Um, they, li they live in Apopa City. Um, wife, Francisco, loves computing and cook. <laughs> Um, the daughters, uh, the daughters Francisco are very studious. Uh, they like K-pop music. Um, Francisco right now work in the app, in, in the app, pedidos ya, like delivery, um, like like good. Like Ray Motorcycle and listen music, electronica, salsa, rock. And he is tall, very friendly, handsome. <laughs> of course. And enjoy a lot uh, her family. And he today finishes. Uh, his great English class, and this is this only that. Okay, Francisco, thank you very much. Very creative with the pictures, let me tell you. Right, very, very nice and creative. Congratulations, Mr. Francisco. Thank you for sharing about you and about your life and your daughters who are 11 years old. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you very okay. much. Let me see. We're going to go with Heidi. Thank you, Francisco. Good evening. Hello. Hello. My name is Vanessa. La, my last name is Diaz. My nationality is Salvadorian. I am 30 years. I have some. Uh, Rodrigo, seven years, and Lucas, five years. I uh, work for Constancy. I like ice and coffee. I like to travel to my parents' house in Chalchuapa. Um, I good experience was traveling to Cartagena, Colombia, and Panama with my eldest son. Uh, my favorite color is blue. I like to dance rock and roll. Ah, so nice. Hey, where do where do your parents live in Chalchuapa? Uh, my daddy. No, but where? Where? In the center, in a neighborhood? Where do they live? Mm, campo. Oh, in the in the in the rural area of Chalchuapa. It's because I my family is from Chalchuapa. <laughs> Estoy cerca de la frontera de eh, bueno, originaria cerca de la frontera de Guatemala. <laughs> Near La Magdalena. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. You see, huh? You see. I live well my, my family lives in the center of Chalchuapa. So será mi será usted mi tía. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe we are we are relatives and we didn't know. Isa fuimo familia en algún momento. Y no sé. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Heidi Vanessa. That's a pretty good thing. You see? Thank you, teacher. We find another chalchopaneca here. That's pretty good. Yeah, nice. yuca. Yay. We are going to have a there is the couple. <laughs> 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 we are going to have a convivio there in Chalchopa with all of all of yes. us. 
No well, sumal todos. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you very much. Uh, am I missing someone? I am missing Angela, but I think she had difficulties with her connection. But because she she just disconnect. Uh, I don't know if I am missing someone else because on the list I have most of you. Me, teacher. Oh, Jonathan Josue. Go ahead. Yeah, I have Jonathan okay. Gabriel. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Hi, everyone. I will talk about Jonathan Josue Lemus Lopez. He is, sorry. Okay. There you go. He, he is 25 years old. He lives with his family. The members, his family are his mom, Rosario, his father, Manuel, and his sister, Eunice. His, fam, his family is very close because everyone helps each other uh, when necessary. He is very friendly and talk a lot. He plays guitar and a little the drum. Uh, he is a content assist in Truling. He has been working on this for six years. Uh, his favorite color is black because for him is very formal and elegant. His hobbies are go to the gym, uh, also play soccer with his friends, uh, and sometimes dream some some beers with his friends. Uh, he likes anime, like One Piece, Dead Note, Helsing, Fairy Tail, and many more. Uh, he want to go to the Colombia the next year with his girlfriend because he loves coffee and the Colombia culture. His favorite food is chicken soup. And he don't have favorite music because he, he loves the old music. Uh, that is all. Thank you very much. Yay. That's very nice. You love chicken soup. Me too. <laughs> it's very good. Definitely. Well, my dear students, congratulations on your presentations there. Good job. You know, the best part of being a teacher is this moment. When you see your students producing the language, when you listen to your students using vocabulary, when you listen to your students actually practicing what they have learned, it makes my days complete because I have seen your progress. And when I listen to you practicing and putting all the learning into practice, that makes me extremely happy. Well, I have a couple of comments. We need to be very careful with the use of he and she, right? When we uh, express uh, ourselves in third person, right? If we are talking about you and you are a lady, you have to say she is like this and this, right? Her favorite, right? And you don't have to confuse with he and you are talking about a lady, right? That's the first thing that you have to be very careful. When you pronounce, for example, the word she, right? She works, right? Don't say she, she works, no. And um, let's see, when you say he has a daughter, if you're talking about you, you say she. She likes China food, Chinese food, right? She likes Chinese food. Uh, when you say um, she likes to, she likes to watch TV, she likes to go shopping, right? You have to remember that after like, you use an infinitive. The next one, uh, people is already plural. You don't change it, right? You don't say peoples, it's people. The next one, when you say, uh, the pronunciation of the word study, right? He studies, right? Uh, practice more the English. You don't say the English, you say practice more English, right? To practice more English or to practice English more. And the next one, the pronunciation of favorite. 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 Ahí vamos a hacer plana, ya vimos de dos cosas. Parents y favorite. Vamos a hacer un audio de unas 100 veces. Parents, 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 parents. Favorite, 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 right? And let's see. Uh, when you say like, right? He likes. You say he likes to do. He likes to do this and that. And when you pronounce the word live, don't say he lives in Santa Ana, for example. Say he lives in Santa Ana. He likes play soccer. He likes 
to play soccer. Uh, when you say uh, she has 20 years old, say she is 20 years old. Um, his favorite food, you don't say she's favorite food, you say her favorite food or his favorite food or my favorite food. Uh, the pronunciation of the word church, church, turtle, right? Turtle, the animal. And she, when you say she experienced in the module, you say her experience in the module was fantastic. And let me see. When you say he is a export agent, you cannot say a export agent. He is an export agent. He likes read. She likes to read. And she likes to read. That it's important to remember the um, that the, you use the infinitives and how to how to um, add these after the words like or want. The next one. Uh, Chinese food? No, Chinese food. Chinese food. Chinese doesn't exist. The next one, the pronunciation of argue. Argue and sick. Let's see the next one. He has 32 years old. He is 32 years old. The pronunciation of bridges. Bridges. I think it was Roberto. Roberto, where are you? It's Bridges. Bridges. And uh, let me see. Bridges. Bridges. Can yes. Bridges. Fuentes. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, yeah. pues, bridges is Fuentes. <laughs> Bridge is <laughs> solo uno, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Bridges is plural. Okay. Good. Bridge okay, okay. It's only one. Very good. Let me see. Um, he loves the animals. You say he loves animals. And he believes in God. He believes in God. That's good. And let's see. The next one. Some of the topics, very difficult. Say some of the topics were very difficult. Some of the topics were very difficult. And the pronunciation of, uh, well, at the beginning, when you enter to a class, you say good evening, right? Don't say good night. Good night is when you go to sleep. The next one, you, when you say his favorite color, no, his favorite color, favorite. And he wants to improve. She wants to improve her English, right? Improve. And the pronunciation of successful, successful. And let's see, electronica music, no, electronic music, right? Electronic music. He enjoy music, he enjoys music because it's third person. And I want to travel to the Colombia. I want to travel to Colombia, right? I want to travel to Colombia. And he don't, you don't say he don't, you say he doesn't. And Angela is here. She's going to present because we don't want to leave before listening. Lo siento, teacher, es que la computadora me pidió una actualización y en eso precisamente darle el micrófono iba y me sale la actualización. Don't worry, you can start. Entonces, Go ahead. Okay, sorry. Hi, uh, good evening. Good I evening. want to talk about Angela. She's a funny but serious person. She is 26 years old, but everyone thinks that she is younger. She is in her last stage of her career in graphic design. She likes spend time with her family and friends, but she also likes to have a long time to read, watch movies and series, paint and play video games. She's now reading a lot of the rings and it's, it's, in, a, it's in English, so it's a little bit difficult to finish it. Also, she likes eat and drinks coffee. She dislikes papaya, pipian, and pork meat. She wakes up early in weekends and works in her computer at home. In her experience, in the module, it was her first time. She enjoyed a lot learning more and practiced her, her pronunciation expanding her vocabulary 
and meet her classmate and teacher Nati. One of the challenges for Angela is that she never had classes online and it was a new experience for her. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, it was a new experience for everybody. And for sure, I am very glad that you actually enjoy it, right? That was very, very nice, right? And everybody thinks that you are younger. Yes, I thought you were younger, <laughs> definitely. I think I am one of the, of all the ones who believe that you are a lot younger. I thought that you were like 19. Teacher. Thank you. Yes, yes I heard a teacher, but who was it? Me teacher, I, uh -huh. have a, I have a question teacher. Yes. The, the next level is for this year or for the next year? I am not very sure because we need to wait for the information from Inglés Corporativo, but if it is not for this year, I need you please to continue practicing. Don't say yeah. like, yeah, vacation, woohoo. No, it's not for vacation. It is for you to continue practicing and learning, okay? Yeah, it is, yeah. Not for this year, you need to keep on practicing for you to be ready for the next. Yes, we need to, to practice every day. Yes, I am going to share a couple of links there that you can use for you to practice English every day and you can practice the four skills. So I am going to share them on, on your group. So even if you are not in classes, you can continue practicing the language, okay? Hmm. I'm going to keep you keep an eye on you. And for sure, I know for the next teacher is going to be a great pleasure to have you as a, his or her students. Please continue practicing, continue learning continue chatting with your friends in English because it is very important for you to continue developing the language, right? Remember that English is going to open a lot of doors and not only because you are going to learn the difference between halle and puhe, right? <laughs> Push and pull in English. It is going to open a lot of doors because you are going to have a lot more opportunities, right? Job opportunities, life opportunities, career opportunities, study opportunities, and you are going to develop different abilities that you didn't know that you had. So it is very important to learn something new every day, to read something in English, right? If you love anime, if you love movies, if you love series, practice them in English. Put the subtitles in English. Learn new words with that, right? If you watch a lot of series on, on what? On, on the internet put the subtitles in English, even if the audio is in Spanish, but at the beginning, right? Put the subtitles in English and learn new words. Like, hey, I didn't know, I didn't know that one. And if you can write them down, it will be very beneficial for you. And later on, you are going to put the audio in English and the subtitles in English, and you are going to be practicing. And later, only the audio in English with no subtitles and you are going to see the difference on learning, right? If you like cartoons or whatever thing that you like to watch, watch it in English. The songs in the karaoke mode for you to read the letters, read articles in English. It's going to be very beneficial for you and for your development as a student. So the only thing that I have to tell you that uh, for me, it has been a great, opportunity to teach you. Thank you for your great job. Never stop learning. And for sure, for me, it, it is always and it will be always a pleasure to serve people so committed as you are. So my dear students, thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of the year, right? Don't forget me. <laughs> if you need any help, you know you have, uh, you can just contact me there and I can help you with anything that it's related to the English language or any good bits of advice, I am there for you. So thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, my dear students. Nice to and meet you, teacher. everybody. Thank you, thank you teacher. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Happy everything. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Bye, much. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.
Bye, teacher. It was a pleasure. Bye. It was a big pleasure for me, too. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.